Today let's talk about putting gaskets in the RAM manifold system for the F and the G. This will be the long RAM system. A complete set of gaskets for the RAM manifold consists of three different ones. The choke pot, elbow to intake, elbow to exhaust. You can't mess up the choke pot with the other two, but the difference between elbow to intake and exhaust Look at the size of the hole. That's your main identifier. Pretty obvious where the choke pot gasket goes. Up in here. And you need two of them for one on each side. The other gaskets are not quite so straightforward, but they're not too difficult. Let's take off the elbow for the carb heat. So here's the man of <clears throat> so here's the elbow removed. The nuts and bolts that hold this on are just half inch. The exhaust manifold bolts can sometimes give a wrestle because they get seized in here after years. But remember, you're only talking about a half inch, and they're easy to break off. So here's your your elbow, and as you can tell, the top side has a smaller hole compared to the bottom side and that's where your gaskets come in the gasket with the large hole elbow to exhaust will go up in here and the gasket with the small hole will go on top of the elbow and seal against the base of the carb. So for your normal long ram setup you're going to need two elbow to exhaust that's the large hole and four elbow to intake because we're going to put one here and we're also going to put one here this one is your exhaust heat tube that runs down so that you have somewhere to dump the old exhaust and it takes the small hole elbow to intake. A note on installation, these connections only take 10 foot-pounds according to the service manual, so don't be cranking on them too much or you'll have broken bolts. <laughs> 